Now we do have that triple camera setup on the back as well, which I'll go ahead and hit on right now. So this is kind of what I call the triple thread. If you watch my other videos, you know what this means. We had that 48 megapixel wide angle lens, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now this is a pretty okay camera, you know, when it first came out, it definitely wasn't the best camera, and I feel like since then it's probably gotten okay. Like it really isn't even that bad of a camera in this day and age because it's been a little bit older, it's gotten down in price. But when it first came out, a lot of people were comparing it to the S10 and the iPhone 11 Pro at the time. So maybe it should have been compared to, maybe it shouldn't. Have. But at the end of the day, this camera I think is still a pretty okay camera. We have 4K at 60, which that in and of itself is another really cool thing. You know, I mean, no 8K or anything, but most OnePlus devices still can only do 4K at 60 so I think it's okay for the most part. However, on the front, this is the biggest difference between a lot of other devices in this one. It did have that motorized pop-up camera, so it was that wide-angle lens. Now, I think at the end of the day, it's okay, like it's totally an okay sensor, but my biggest problem with this camera was that it could only shoot 1080p videos. A majority of the phones that we had in 2019 at this day and age could only could do more than 1080p. It could do 4K at 60. The Galaxy S10 could do 4K at 60. The iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone iPhone 11s could do 4K at 60. This device did not have any type of capability like that, but in this day and age as well, the OnePlus 8 Pro, the OnePlus 8T, all these phones can still not do 4K at 60. Like, it's so funny to me. So, at the end of the day, that's another pretty big disadvantage when you have a device like this. You're not necessarily going to be getting like an amazing camera on the front. It's kind of like a novelty, like you're getting that pop-up camera, but the quality of that camera really isn't that great. That's kind of a pretty big disadvantage when it comes down to it. But as I stated before, that back camera is still pretty relevant. 4K at 60, you still have a lot of capability and you have the ability of zooming in a lot and zooming out a lot. So I think that is a pretty good thing in and of itself. So at the end of the day, the camera probably gets a thumbs up for me in my books. Now, Thank you.